And it is unusual when a boat explodes into flames, but it has now happened twice in the past 24 hours on the same Metro Lake. Yes, the video is pretty wild. In one case, a blast threw a guy from his boat and a second explosion gutted the boat, but thankfully no one was hurt. Only on CBS 46, Yasmita Austin live at Lake Alatoona. And tonight, Yasmita, you're finding out this is extremely unusual. Mike, that's right. Now, we don't know the cause of those two boat fires, but we were told that it's extremely rare for them to happen on this lake. We found out today that last year there were only three or four boat fires. And just this weekend, there have already been two. Captain Chris Day and his crew at Towboat U.S. stay pretty busy on the water. Dead battery to uh, jump starts, towing, and we, we also do any kind of emergency response. To their boats stay on Lake Alatoona 24 7 and this weekend they've seen a lot of flames. It was actually inside a marina. The first call came Saturday evening for a boat fire. Witness video shows the fiery scene. Though the cause is unknown, there are several things that could have gone wrong. I know in this weather a lot of times people get out just hanging out on their boats, pulling in and out of coves and they'll just cut the engine off and then restart it and it's just easy way for a disaster to happen if you don't turn on your blower motor. Then on Sunday, the second call. It was fully, fully engulfed. Pictures show this boat on fire. We're told the boat exploded and the man on board was thrown into the water, but had only minor injuries. Yeah, he's he's definitely lucky. Again, the cause is unknown, but this particular boat fire was close to the shoreline and according to Day, could have spread to nearby trees. A lot of things could have get could have went wrong, but luckily he he escaped with his life, and from what I understand, he had a life jacket on. The lake will be full this summer, so Captain Day has some safety advice for those taking on Alatoona. Boat fire. People just don't know how easy it is to have a boat fire by not running your blower motor or have an extra fuel on board for a generator. And Captain Day says if there is a fire on your boat and it's small, then you can try to put it out. But if things get out of hand, put on a life jacket and jump off of that boat. For now, we're live in Lake Alatoona. Yasmina Alston, CBS 46 News.